how much more upside does the euro have in the short term? Uh, not very much in my opinion because um, yes, uh, right now it's benefiting a little bit from discussions that the ECB will uh, discuss and end to QE next week. We actually might think that um, they won't uh, yet announce an end to QE but rather wait for this, to this until the July or even a later meeting. Um, but they would rather, yeah say that they start discussions because honestly they still have time to wait. Um, they were very pessimistic about the data at the last meeting. Not that much has changed about this so why um, bring, like, um, bring an end or um, draw a conclusion right now and not wait for further data down the road. And um, even though like, even if they end QE the data, the, the economy is not running that well that we will see immediate rate hikes after um, an end to QE and I think this is needed to sustainably support the euro. So uh, I think actually that the upside to the euro is limited until we see further signs that we are actually seeing a normalization of monetary policy above and beyond an end to QE. Uh, Esther, when, you, when we look ahead to the ECB meeting next week, then clearly the timetable for QE is going to be important, but also the backdrop of Italy and the political turmoil there. How do you think Mario Draghi is going to uh, navigate that uh, difficult political subject? Because although he doesn't want to get involved in the politics, it does tie into the bond mining programme, perhaps. Well, I bet there will be a lot of questions about the situation in Italy, about the uh, yields in the periphery countries. But we've seen uh, repeatedly that Draghi is staying off this topic. He is uh, only focusing on monetary policy and of course he'll say like they are looking at the market conditions in the sense and how far they matter for their monetary policy decisions. But he will not like comment in any way about the uh, political uh, turmoils. Um, Rather, the signal that they are starting the discussion of QE now uh, is a clear signal to the market that they are staying off this topic and that this has not changed anything for them.